In this video, we are going to see the effect of PID controller in control system. We already discussed proportional integral derivative controller in the last class. So, now we will see what are the effects. We already discussed that effects in previous class, but here we want to show, I want to show all that effects by using analysis. So, when we are discussing that PID controller, as I told you that PID controller is going to increase the stability of the system by introducing two zeros in numerator and it will, in, it will decrease the steady state error by increasing the type number of the system. That means, it will introduce poles at origin, it will speci especially it will introduce one pole at origin because of that type number will increase by increasing the type number that will decrease the steady state error. So, finally, PID controller is going to increase the stability and decrease the steady state error at a time. So, this is very important controller and preferred controller in control systems to improve the performance of control systems. So, here this is the block diagram of control system which is using PID controller. We already have analysis how to design this block diagram in PID controller. In previous video itself we discussed how to design this block diagram for PID controller that means control system with PID controller. So, we done all the analysis to calculate this transfer function in the previous video. So, which is nothing but proportional integral derivative controller concept we are having analysis to calculate this transfer function. So, now this is the block diagram of a closed loop control system with the PID controller integrated in it. So, because of this PID controller how your closed loop transfer function is going to vary that we are going to see here that means we are analyzing the effect of this PID controller in this control system. Now, here generally this, this is a PID controller, the output is U of S and input is error signal E of S. U of S by E of S is equal into KP into 1 plus 1 by TIS plus TD into S. Now, here we do not want this transfer function, we need overall transfer function. How we can calculate overall transfer function? Whenever you are having gain here, that gain divided by 1 plus gain into feedback gain. So, that means G of S by 1 plus G of S into H of S will be the overall transfer function of a closed loop negative feedback system. But here we are having two gains. We inserted this PID controller in series with the open loop gain. So, we need to multiply these two gains. The transfer function of this controller is nothing but gain of that controller. So, I am just treating this as uh, G1 and I am just treating this normal open loop uh, transfer function as G2. So, now G of S will be G1 of S into G2 of S series gains can be multiplied to get the overall gain. So, now here I am going to consider this as omega n square by s square plus 2 g tau omega n into s. I am considering like this. So, now same I am substituting here in place of g1 of s I can write this k p into 1 plus 1 by T i into s plus T d into s into in place of G 2 of s I can write omega n square divided by s square plus 2 g tau omega n into s. I want to simplify this one. So, this is equivalent to k p into I am just cross multiplying this one and making it as total denominator. So, 1 plus T i into s plus T d T i into s square. I am just cross multiplying 
this T i of s and making it as common denominator T i of do not of s in uh, further you will confuse it like that is uh, like s domain. So, you just put a dot here which shows T i into s T i into s and here omega n square divided by s square plus 2 zeta omega n into s. So, here this is equivalent to k p into 1 plus t i s plus t d t i s square into omega n square divided by t i s cube plus 2 zeta omega n s square into t i. And here this is g of s, we do not want g of s, just we want to see how overall transfer function, overall gain of the closed loop control system is going to change after integrating this PID controller in it. I want to see closed loop transfer function, closed loop transfer function means C of s by R of s. The formula for C of s by R of s for a negative feedback closed loop control system is G of s by 1 plus G of s into H of s. But H of s is equivalent to 1 because this is unity feedback system. So, now G of s by 1 plus G of s. We already calculated G of S after integrating PID controller. So, this is your open loop gain after inserting PID controller. Generally, without this controller, this is closed loop control system with only G of S. That is a open loop transfer function. After inserting this, this open loop transfer function is going to vary by multiplying with the gain of PID controller. So, that we calculated. G of s is open loop gain, this is feedback gain collectively will provide closed loop gain or closed loop transfer function. So, now I am just inserting that G of s here, this is equivalent to G of s means k p into 1 plus t i s plus t d t i s square into omega n square divided by T i s cube 1 plus I am writing like this 1 plus g of s means again same thing I need to write. I am not writing this denominator at a time I am writing like this or you can see like this g of s means this one divided by T i s cube plus 2 zeta omega n s square T i. This is G of S, I written G of S, 1 plus again I need to write G of S, K P into 1 plus T i s plus T d T i s square into omega n square divided by T i s cube plus 2 zeta omega n s square into T i. I am just cross multiplying this denominator in the denominator and cancelling with this denominator. So, now this is equivalent to k p into 1 plus t i s plus t d t i s square into omega n square divided by and here I can write t i s cube plus 2 zeta omega n s square t i plus I am writing this with expanding k p omega n square plus k p omega n square t i into s plus k p omega n square t i into s after that finally k p omega n square t d t i into s square. This what? And here <coughs> you are having T i 
in all the terms except this one. So, I am writing the T i outside and I am writing as denominator to k p. So, this is equivalent to k p by T i. So, k p by T i how I can write T i is nothing but k p by integral constant k p by k i. So, k p by T i means we can write k i directly we can write k i. So, here I am writing k i why I am writing k i means I written here. So, I am taking common of T i and I am sending to numerator and numerator in place of k p by T i I am writing k i. k i into 1 plus T i s plus T d T i s square into omega n square divided by T i no, no need of T i already taken common right s q 2 zeta omega n plus another s square term another s square term is this one k p omega n square T i is taken common. So, that is why only T d into s square s term s term is this one. So, k p omega n square s yes, T i is already taken common plus finally this term. So, this term is not having T i initially after taking common that will become like this k p omega n square by T i k p by T i k p by T i again I can write k i. So, I again I can write k i k i omega n square. So, this is what we are getting. Finally, if you observe how many s terms are introduced in numerator, how many zeros are introduced at origin. If you observe here what we have considered initially, this is nothing but we can write it as like this s into s plus 2 zeta omega n s square 2 zeta omega n into s is nothing but s into s plus 2 zeta omega n. Initially there is no zeros and uh, here s into s we are having maximum s square in denominator. Coming to here after integrating PID controller two s terms are introduced in the numerator. So, two zeros are introduced in this system, two zeros introduced in the system and one pole at origin and one pole at origin. Initially maxima you are having s square, s into s, s square, but here you can see s cube. So, type number is increased the s power will show single s power will show the number of poles at origin if you considered common of s square here then you will get s into like that here s into s s square you take in common of s as you are having s cube here you can take common of s square so, it increased s to s square in common after taking common. So, whatever it may be, one pole increased, two zeros introduced. By increasing poles at origin, you can decrease the steady state error. How? By increasing the poles at origin, you can increase the type number of the system. By increasing the type number of the system, steady state error automatically will decrease. And here you introduce two zeros. One zero will compensate one pole. Another zero, obviously, if you are increasing zero, stability will increase. For example, in PI controller and PD controller also we introduced one zero at numerator. That one zero is going to compensate with one pole at origin, then we are not increasing the stability at the same time we are not decreasing that is neutral. But here there two zeros are introduced 
one zero is going to compensate with the pole another zero is used to increase the stability of the control system so by this analysis we can say by using pid controller in a control system we can introduce two zeros and we can introduce one pole at origin by that the steady state error will decrease and at the same time the uh, stability of the system is going to increase this is about effect of proportional integral and derivative controller pid controller this is very important for any control system related exams